Hey guys, we're live on Saturn. Uh, it's Saturday evening, February 26, at 02.42 a.m. And old Bill's doing an all-nighter, and I, I finally got a clear sky, and I said, Well, Bill, you got to go out and try to get Saturn. And I... I, I, I don't have a Barlow in here. I just have a 19 millimeter, and I'm looking at it through my experimental camera, and it 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 really looks pretty good. Um, let me turn up the color a little bit. So I turn it up a little bit too much, and it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, try to fiddle with the controls on this, and then I'm going to try to put a Barlow in on this thing and see if we can. Uh, uh, make it bigger. I've been trying to get Saturn for about two hours and when I got it in here on the camera I decided I'd just crank it up because it, it's a it's difficult to well quite frankly I'm just learning how to do this with this camera. Uh, this is quite an amazing camera in that I can do the moon, not only that, but I can do celestial bodies and uh, live shot. This is a live shot of Saturn. Through my telescope, I'm using a 19 mil millimeter pan, a pan optic color corrected lens. And uh, if I turn the brightness up too much, it just, there's just a magic mix there. And if I turn the contrast, I think for right now it's such a small image. Uh, I won't uh, try to fiddle with it uh, until I get the Barlow and I get a bigger image. Uh, let me let me back out on the tel on the on the zoom. I do have a zoom on this thing, and the zoom was all zoomed in. You can see how when I back out on the zoom, it gets real tiny almost, you know, unrecognizable. Then when I zoom in, then uh, it uh, it comes in. And then I need to turn the, to get, to get it in right, I need to adjust the gain. See, I'm turning the gain down. I overdrove the, the camera. Those of you that are 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 bold and and want to have a lot of fun, uh, I would highly recommend that you do this uh, camera and you uh, and you fiddle with it. Uh, you can have remarkable results. This is a, a quite an amazing feat. Imagine if you were an astronomer and you were at, at your uh, at your park, we got uh, we got a park down here called Brazos Bend State Park, and they they get down there on Saturday nights, and they look through their eyepieces at at the moon and at Saturn or what you know whatever they're going to look at. And uh, now, can you imagine if I took my uh, my computer down there, my rig, and I had this on a bit on my on my monitor and and. Uh, and then people they can look at a live shot of Saturn. I mean, live shot of Saturn through a telescope. Absolutely amazing. I'm very pleased with this uh, this camera, and I'm very pleased with the with a telescope. Uh, I did a solar alignment. That means I I used my star chart, uh, and I, I I I figured out where Saturn should be. And you can see me kind of trying to move it around and adjust it in center, uh, and keep it on the screen. And 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 so consequently, it uh, it came in uh, uh, came in real well. The problem was, uh, quite frankly, the when I I had to use a, a 35 millimeter optical lens without the camera to get it in. And to do that, I had to uh, adjust the uh, the focus for that lens. And then when I put this one on, then I had the donut, and I had to 
you know, it was just a whole bunch of rigmarole to get it all lined up and, and everything. But it, it's Saturn. And I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put this thing on pause. I think it's mystical. You look at this thing, and 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 you'll see when I when I bring it in uh, with a, a closer lens, uh, we should be able to see it better. And then I'll try to get the the rings and the color and everything uh, better. Uh, this is it's it's only a 19 millimeter lens, so it's. Uh, but I, I, I'm going to put in what equivalent to a 5 millimeter when I put that Barlow on. It's a 2.5 Paramate Barlow. Uh, and I might try 5 times Barlow as well. But for right now, I'm going to put it on pause, and we're going to see if we can get it in closer. So hang with me. It's been a while. It's been raining cats and dogs. Hang with me. On the back end, I'm going to pick this up. Saturn live on a Saturday night. It's another all-nighter for Bill. Hang with me, guys. Okay, this is Bill. Bill back. I uh, let me zoom in. I uh, I'm running out of roof, and uh, as difficult as this is to uh, let me get the gain down. And uh, so you can see the rings. As difficult as this is, I think I'm just going to leave it like this tonight. Oops. Let me change the rate to three. Okay. The uh, I I think I'll be able to do it. Maybe tomorrow night I'll try it again. Uh, let me let me see if I can work with this image now a little bit and see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, I I should be able to get uh, two and a half times closer than I am on this, and when I do, let me fiddle with the brightness. Okay. Turn the brightness down. Okay. Let me fiddle with the exposure. And uh, since I'm not going to do a Barlow on this, let me see if I can get a better focus on this. And turn up the color a little bit and turn up the contrast so I turn the contrast up too far see how it w wipes it out turn it down too much and then I get that that's pretty good let me fiddle with the brightness again I uh, when I was a kid I had a, a Tasco Oops, pushing it the wrong way because I'm so terribly excited. This is a. I had a Tasco and it was a uh, a pretty good telescope. I mean, it was a variable telescope. I think I got it for selling cards or something like that, or I can't remember. But my, maybe my parents got it to me for Christmas. Anyhow, that got me interested in astronomy in a big way. And one of the uh, things that I was able to do was uh, bring in. Uh, Saturn, but it was really, really tiny. And uh, this image is, I think, remarkable uh, on a uh, on a video. And if you know, figure I can get in two and a half times closer than this with clarity, so I should be able to get a pretty big image on the screen when I finally get it. Now let me see if I can do the focus a little bit. See, that's out of focus. That's it. Let me just turn auto focus on. I don't think it'll work. Well, it's trying to. Let me go let me center it. 
this camera is absolutely remarkable. I do have autofocus on now. One thing about the, the moon, you know, you're looking at it and you're seeing all the, the, the mountain ranges and, the, and, and everything. This is high adventure here. Now you think about this. If I can get in closer on Saturn, uh, and it, it looks ethereal. I mean, it, it really does kind of look spooky. You know, it's, you're looking up in space, and there it is. It's one of those little stars up there. And when you focus it in, you can see the rings and the whole deal. <coughs> I got to I gotta take a sip of Black Tiger coffee, man. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good, uh, remarkable feat. If I was a drinking man, I'd, I'd open up a... I used to drink scotch all the time. I love scotch, but I, I, I haven't had a drink in six, six years. And if I was a drinking man, I'd crack open a bottle of scotch and uh, celebrate. It's one thing to see something like this through a lens, guys. It is quite the thing, though, to be able to see it. Uh, oops, get it down there. To see it on a, on a, uh, I think I know what's happening. We're, see how it's, see, I'm, the, the telescope is going up, 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 up. It's almost pointed up and it's hitting the, the roof of the, of the, of the porch. So that's it. That's why I didn't pursue the bar low because I knew I'd be running into the porch and the roof and I am. You, you can see what happened. Okay, guys, this was an outstanding session. Outstanding. I think we're going to have clear skies tomorrow night. And if we do, I'm going to try uh, to do uh, Barlow on Saturn and see what we can do. Uh, this is terribly exciting, though. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, enjoyed this. It's a kind of a, I'm going to be doing things like this every once in a while, doing Nebula and, and, uh, and, and other things. And so this uh, this proves to me that this telescope is uh, is a uh, quite a remarkable telescope. But we ran out of out of porch. One of these days, I might get myself an observatory over that trailer, little platform or something. In the meantime, I wish you and yours. Clear skies, guys.